Tyler with Diesel Laptops back here again. We are hooked up to our CAT C13 uh, EPA04 emission engine. Uh, right now this is an ECU just sitting right on our workbench. There's nothing hooked up to it, so we'll have plenty of codes. Just kind of want to walk you through what you can do with it on the Bosch tool. So very first of all is the identification tab. So I'll hit continue here, hit the ECU data, hit continue. And it's going to pull all kinds of ECU information across this vehicle. Serial numbers, um, you know, whatever VIN information it thinks it has, software versions, what it's rated for, all that good stuff. So we'll hit the continue button, bring us back to the main menu, and then back again. So to read faults, we would click on read faults, hit continue, and we'll pull up all the fault codes that are in this. It'll show us all active and inactive fault codes. Since we do not have any sensors hooked up to this, it should be uh, pretty simple. There should be a whole bunch of active ones. So the speed you're seeing it do things, this is pretty typical for all the ECMs. Uh, and it just take a couple, couple seconds to pull up the information as needed. So as we're waiting here, you can see some of the other buttons up here at the top. Uh, help buttons, print, minimize. You can do a couple other commands up here with the settings and whatnot and here all our codes come up so again the nice thing about the Bosch is it has very very good repair information in here oh and we do have some inactive ones as well so this Bosch one is giving us the PIDs and FMIs for all the codes if I click any of them and then hit on troubleshooting what it'll do now is it's gonna to go to the internet and grab all the repair information it can find from Bosch for these codes so you do have to be on the internet in order to pull out this troubleshooting information that's in here but I can tell you from experience, the troubleshooting information with the Bosch is definitely top-notch. Um, they're going to have pictures, graphs, explicit directions on how to do repairs. And this is part of why you have to pay that annual fee with Bosch. A lot of the other systems, you don't have annual fees that are required. Bosch, you do, because that's a lot of what they really focus on is doing this. So as you can see, there's some step-by-step -step guides here. If I click the little arrow next to each of them, it'll give us some more information on that code and what to do. And let's go through a couple of these and see if we can find some with some pictures. Oh, check the engine oil. Probably not too much there for pictures. Intake solenoid valves. And let's just skip down here to some of these other ones. Pressure sensor check reading. This one should actually give us some actual, there we go. So we have some actual wiring diagrams and some pictures. So it's going to show you a picture of the component, what the connectors look at. And if you click this little wiring diagram button right here, it'll hop over to the wiring diagram so we can actually see exactly how that thing is supposed to be wired up. So again, to do all this, you must be on the internet in order to activate any of these things. And yeah, they do take a little bit of time. The wiring diagrams are going to have some symbols you're probably not used to. Bosch kind of uses their own little symbol system. So there's a bunch of things here. You may not recognize what all these are. So you have to hit the little symbol button over here. And it'll kind of decode how that particular symbol, what it should do or mean or what it should look like. So wait for that to go, and there, there is your symbols on what all those things mean. And there's obviously page after page after page of them. I'm going to cancel to go back. And most of your navigation will take place on the bottom down here. So again, I'll go back, and we'll get out of this code and kick back all the way there. And we'll do cancel to go back one more menu as well. If I wanted to clear the faults, I would do that. Actual values, this is where all your live data is going to be coming from the vehicle. So if you want to see things such as operating time, trip data, whatever it is, you would just click on it and then pull up the information. If you want to see some of the other sensor data, we would do measure selection. I hit continue. And this is where it's going to give us a big list of all the different parameters that we could possibly take a look at and watch. There are some user-defined ones in here. So if you have certain things you always want to look at, like EGR values or whatever it is, you would just simply select that. We'll hit select all to look at all the sensors, hit continue. And now we're going to get some sensors. And all of our readings are going to come up really wonky. And that's simply because we do not have any sensors hooked up to this ECU. It's just sitting here on the workbench. We'll hit back to go back. And we'll go all the way back here. So all the good stuff, all the commands that you want to run are in these next three. So for actuators, let's check out and see what we have there. So it looks like we can run some of our fan tests, coolant bypass valve, outputs, uh, speedometer tests, etc. I will hit the back button. We'll go into special features. I'll hit continue. 
And here you'll see some more of the tests that you can run as well. Here's some cylinder deactivation commands that you can do. So automatic, manual, multiple tests, and including looks like there's intake control valve tests and commands that can be ran there as well. Back one more. Let's go look at adjustments and settings. I'm going to hit continue. And again, here's your injector coating. And I believe the Texa only, or the, sorry, the Bosch only does the injector coating if you have the actual codes. You can't use the, um, the trim files. So they have to be read out. Let's just continue here and see what happens with this particular command if we get to a spot. So we'll select injector number one, continue. And again, we don't actually have an injector hooked up to this thing, so we'll see. So yeah, so right here it's going to let you pick different codes. And we would have to hit the change button and select the file containing the parameters to be copied. All right, so you get the idea. This is how we go through here to select the files. Actually, this one is allowing you to do the trim files. It's looking for the disk. So we'd pop the disk in and be able to do the trim files. All right, we will go back. And that's really the overview on the Caterpillar with the Bosch. So there you have it. Thank you for watching.